I'm not interested in talk. I'm interested in action. And I am absolutely committed as President of the United States uh, to making sure that we have a country in which everybody believes in the core principle that we are equal under the law. Folks, uh, welcome to uh, Give Me Five. That was the president yesterday uh, reacting after the grand jury in uh, or on Staten Island in New York City uh, said no indictment of the police officer in the uh, so-called uh, chokehold death of Eric Garner. Um, the president, again, you know, I instead of saying that the, the, the legal system must be respected, the grand jury saw all the evidence, and, you know, and we have to respect that decision, no, the, the lingering doubt, it's unfair, people feel it's unfair, and, and, and that's justified somehow more. We are not going to let up until we see a strengthening of the trust and a strengthening of the accountability that exists between our communities and our law enforcement. And I say that as somebody who believes that law enforcement has an incredibly difficult job that every man or woman in uniform are putting their lives at risk to protect us, that they have the right to come home, just like we do from our jobs. Okay, that's the bone he throws law enforcement. He's done that. That's almost a rehearsed script by now. That's the bone he throws law enforcement. But he never says, don't disobey a cop, don't hit a cop, don't attack a cop. Don't be confrontational if you can help it with a cop. He never says those words. He says law enforcement has a right to come home. They have a tough job. Then there's always a but. But. And here's more. There's real crime out there that they've got to tackle day in, day out. But that they're only going to be able to do their job effectively if everybody has confidence in the system. And right now, unfortunately, we are seeing too many instances where people just do not have confidence that folks are being treated fairly. And in some cases, those may, may be misperceptions, but in some cases, that's a reality. Okay. Cops will only be able to do their job if everyone agrees that everybody's being treated fairly. See, he's, he's making this up as he goes along. Look, the Eric Garner case um, is certainly different than the Ferguson case. Certainly different. Uh, but if you read what the, and as we've discussed, what the uh, lawyer for the police officer involved in this case told the grand jury during two hours where he answered over 20 questions, some of those questions, you know, friendly questions, some of those questions considered hostile questions. Um, if, you, if you listen to what the lawyer said, this officer who is nothing but remorseful uh, never, th th does not believe he, he used a chokehold, he used a technique. He used that technique to provide safety for, the, uh, for himself and the other officers. He felt the glass breaking behind him on the store window. The whole thing. I mean, there's, a, there's an explanation here. And again, whether or not he should have, whether or not he should have. But here's the deal. It, it, let's cut to the core of all of this. Let's cut to the core of Ferguson. Let's cut to the core of this. You saw the videotape here where he says, no, -uh, you're not arresting me. You're not arresting me. Just comply with an officer. I watched CNN ye yesterday, and, and when we talked about complying with an officer, you would think, oh, my God, what did this person just say? The reaction from the quote-unquote panel was outrageous on Aaron Burnett's show. Aaron Burnett said, uh, there was never a question of a weapon being involved here on Eric Garner. Time out. Again, a cop doesn't know if you have a weapon or you don't have a weapon until they handcuff you, and then they could search you. So a cop always has to believe that the person they're trying to arrest or subdue has a weapon. Here's one more from Obama. Uh, and it is incumbent about all of us as Americans, regardless of race, region, faith, that we recognize this is an American problem and not just a black problem or a brown problem or a Native American problem. This is an American problem. When anybody in this country is not being treated equally under the law, that's a problem. And it's my job as president to help solve it. All right. What he did now was he said, when people aren't being treated equally under the law, implying that that's the case. Newsmax Now is next.